Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. We've had a little bit of snow over the last couple days. A tenth of an inch fell yesterday at Eau Claire. Four tenths fell today. It really depends where you were, though. Most of it was Eau Claire and south. For today's snow yesterday, it was a little bit uh, more widespread, but lighter. So we do have a couple more chances for snow. Each of the next couple of days, a uh, trace to a half inch is certainly possible. That should end as the cold front goes through Thursday, and that leads to colder temperatures on Friday. But then weekend chances perhaps of a little bit more snow. That's a possibility. Nothing guaranteed yet. At this point, it could be anything from like one inch to probably eight or nine. So still a widespread, most likely probably in the three to six range. But that all depends on the track development of the system. Something with details that will become much more apparent towards the end of this work week. And that's when we're, you can expect us to have more on that. The one thing tomorrow, even though the snow is very light, you take what fall, fell today and what could fall tomorrow and the winds are going to be a little bit strong and that means the very light and fluffy snow could be blown around and limit visibility. What's helping us though is it's not a lot of snow, so the more snow flakes you have blowing around, the lower the visibility. So it's not going to mean it's super low, but watch out, especially in some open areas uh, for some blowing snow back onto the roads. Futurecast has us between cloud cover and clearing overnight tonight. Temperature should start to go up once the winds shift as a warm front moves through in the morning, though we're not expecting any snow from it until later on in the day, and even that is just scattered chances. Uh, we will see another chance arrive Thursday after another clear night. Clouds fill back in during the day Thursday, and much like Wednesday, the chances are in the afternoon and evening for some accumulating snow, certainly possible, don't expect a lot. Tonight's low for Eau Claire should settle around 5 degrees. That's not going to happen probably closer to 3 uh, or 4 a.m. as opposed to the normal low temperature time around 7 or 8 or 6 to 8 this time of year. Wind chills as cold as negative 5 to uh, 5 above, mostly becoming partly cloudy in the wind shift. Once the wind shift, that's why the temperatures are going to stop cooling because that southwest breeze is going to carry in warmer air and it's going to get stronger during the day. Warm us all the way up to 35, mostly cloudy and windy. There is that slight chance of snow in the afternoon and evening. The winds 15 to 30, fairly sustained, uh, most likely in that 15 to 20 range, but there'll be times where the winds are into the 20s and gusts are into the 30s. Hitting 40 is going to be tough, but certainly gusts into the low to mid 30s are looking fairly likely widespread. Open areas a little bit higher. Temperatures still warm on Thursday, but they take a dive after that snow system moves through and they get close to zero. Some thoughts will be below zero. Cold day on Friday, perhaps even colder than today was, and we're going to see our temperatures dip below zero uh, widespread Friday night. Perhaps not super cold, but negative two is so far the coldest temperature we've had all winter that would tie December 29th slow temperature. So it's not been super cold yet and certainly looks like that's our best chance this week to go below zero. Warming into the weekend, a system brings snow chances starting later Saturday, most likely Saturday night into Sunday morning. Could see some lingering flakes later Sunday and into early Monday too, but that's the system that we still have a lot of details to work out on. And it's not uh, set in stone yet, but be prepared for accumulating snow. So if you have plans this weekend, start to think about it and monitor forecasts over the next couple of days. That's what you should do about it at this point.